first Tacoma mods for new owners. This is what I would do if I had just bought a Toyota Tacoma. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you? That's right. These are the first things that I would do. This is a little bit of advice, I guess, for new Toyota Tacoma owners. You know, if you just bought your Tacoma, you just got it home, and you're of the modding mindset. So this video isn't for anybody who's not into modding, right? If you like to buy your trucks and leave them just as they are, leave them stock, don't do anything to them, then this video isn't for you. And there's nothing wrong with that. The Toyota Tacoma is a perfectly capable, gorgeous truck if left in its natural form. But I wouldn't do that. And I know there's a lot of you out there who wouldn't either. So what's the first thing that I would do? Well, the first thing that I would do is lift it, right? I mean, if we're gonna go sequentially, I would lift it. I wouldn't go with anything crazy. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. I do love my extremely highly lifted trucks, but I would go with just a three, two or a leveling kind of lift, right? And the type of lift that you go with, I guess, kind of depends on the thickness of your wallet or the weight of your credit card, right? I mean, you can go as low as about six to 800 bucks for a block and spacer lift, and it's gonna be fine. You know, if you drive your truck like 96% of us do, just on the road with maybe some light off-roading, you know, a dirt trail or maybe even just a gravel road, you don't really have to worry about it. You can go higher, you can spend a lot more money on suspension lifts and things like that, but a block and spacer will do you. It will get you that awesome look that the Toyota Tacoma needs, that it deserves. Right after that, I would go with different tires. Now, you can keep the same wheels that you have. If you like the wheels that you have, there's no reason to switch them out. You don't have to do that. Save yourself a little bit of money, probably close to 800 bucks or a grand, right? Use those stockers and put some bigger, meatier tires on. Now, again, I wouldn't go with anything extreme. You know, you don't need to go nuts just to have that look, right? I would go with a 28570 and then whatever size wheel you have. If you bump it up or go with a 17, you can do that. You can stay with a 16. You could even go with maybe an 18, something like that, if you can find such an animal. But I wouldn't go any bigger than that. You know, if you go up to say a 20, like I made the mistake of doing, you're gonna kill your ride. And, and let's be honest here, you're gonna alter your ride anyway. Once you lift it and put those meatier, heavier tires on, you're gonna alter your ride anyway. It's not gonna be as smooth or as comfortable, as soft as it was before. It's gonna get a little bit firmer, but that's okay. That's one of those things that we just have to trade off, I guess to get that awesome look in Tacoma that you know you want. Well, at least I did. Now, right after that, we've got your lift, we've got your wheels and tires, we're starting to get there, right? You gotta go with the TRD Pro Grill. You know, I know there are a bazillion, and that's a lot, a bazillion different grills out there you can go with, but in my opinion, the best looking grill for the Toyota Tacoma is the TRD Pro Style Grill. I just think it looks awesome on the truck. It really is the way that the truck should come from the get-go. I think every truck that Toyota puts out should come with that TRD Pro Grill. Now, the aftermarketers, they're not gonna wanna hear that because they wanna sell you those grills. But I really do think they should. There's a couple places you can get those. You know, you can get them from Sparks Parts, sparksparts.com. Um, and there is a 10% discount or a 5% discount code that I have rather. Uh, it's Rob Motive, it'll save you 5%. Running for Tacos. They also have some aftermarket grills, some knockoffs that are just fine. I've had them before, they are awesome. I would challenge you to show me the difference between the two, and you're gonna save yourself about 200 bucks. But they look great. I think that the Tacoma is deserving of it and needs that grill on the front end, right? Next up, window tent, right? 
and you could have fit this in anywhere. I mean, you can get the windows tinted right away. You don't have to wait for these other things, and it's not going to break break the bank. All you have to tint are the front two windows, right? Because everything else is already tinted. Now, on my truck, I have a 20%. Is it legal? Well, it depends on where you live. And beware of that. You know, if you're going to a reputable shop, they should tell you what legal tent is and even make you sign a paper acknowledging that you know that what you're getting isn't legal if you decide to go with a darkness that is below what the legal limit is. But the Tacoma looks awesome with a window tent. You pair that with the lift and the new tires and that TRD Pro Grill, and man, you are about there. Now, the next thing I would do, and this probably has more to do with accessories, but it's a good way to get yourself set up and ready to go, and that's the trigger for wireless accessory device. It fits under your hood, it connects to your battery. You can get four or six different wires, if you will, to be able to connect four or six different wirelessly controlled electronic accessories, like lights, like an LED light bar, like a backup light, if you wanna put something extra on the rear, like those grill lights. I have them in my truck, they're awesome. But you can control all of that, let me show you, with just this remote. And it is awesome. You know, you don't have to worry about going through the firewall or trying to fit switches into your, your dash or your panels or any of that, damaging things, drilling holes. You don't have to do any of that. And if you're a modder, you're probably going to want to add a light bar or some more lights down the road. So it's a good thing to go ahead and get from the onset, I think. Cost of it, 200 some dollars. I know it's not the cheapest thing out there, but I got to tell you, it will save you a ton of aggravation when it comes to running wires and putting in switches and all that stuff. And it's awesome. Love the way it works. I've had it for several months now myself. No problems. Works flawlessly. And I would highly recommend it. The last thing, and this is really kind of, I guess, a matter of preference. I'm a huge anti-chromist. I don't think that any new truck should have any chrome on it. You can have painted parts, you can have blacked out parts, but no chrome. I just think it, it makes vehicles look so dated, you know? And there's nothing wrong with chrome if you like it. Don't get me wrong. But it's not my thing. I would go with blacked out or complete removal if you can. For instance, the badges. And this won't cost you anything if you just remove them. You know, you've got Tacoma plastered on both sides. You've got V6 on the back. I mean, we know what we bought, right? Unless you're really concerned with other people knowing what you're driving, well, who cares? I don't need to show people what my Tacoma is or has in it. I mean, they know it's a Tacoma anyway, right? I really doubt most people most enthusiasts or even people who know a little bit about trucks would mistake your Tacoma for anything else if it didn't have that Tacoma badge on the side, right? But if you must keep it, there are overlays that you can get. You can black that out and it looks awesome on any truck. I don't care what color you got. Blacked out badges, if you've got to keep them, is definitely the way to go. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, kind of let you first time or brand new Tacoma owners, those of you who are modding inclined, let you know, at least from my perspective or my opinion, what the first mods are that you should do to really get good impact on your truck, to start to feel like you're really building something there and it will look awesome. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Again, I'm really not talking to the, the diehards out there who hate modding. This video is not for you, but for you others, let me know what you think of my list. Did I leave anything out first off that would be better to go with? Let me know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, 
smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Happy modding. Bye.